worked through a couple uh, thrilling problems to help us better understand Hess's law and how it works as a state function. First, we're asked to find the enthalpy change for the formation of lead 4 chloride by the reaction of lead 2 chloride with chlorine provided to us here. I wonder what the enthalpy change could be. Uh, we're given several thermochemical equations with known enthalpy changes for those equations and asked to determine what the enthalpy change is for this unknown. Well, using Hess's law, we can keep this first reaction the same, PBS solid, plus two moles of chlorine gas. We'll form one mole of liquid lead for chloride. And because I did not manipulate this equation in any way, my enthalpy change will remain unchanged. Now, as I look at my second equation, I'm going to reverse that equation to give me the lead to chloride as a reactant, forming the solid lead and chlorine gas as my products. And the reason why I want to do that is I'm trying to determine the enthalpy change for this reaction overall. And I notice that I've got the lead for chloride as a product, which is given to me in this first reaction, but I need both lead to chloride and chlorine gas as a reactant. That first equation will give me the chlorine gas as a reactant, but I need to reverse the second equation to give me the lead to chloride on the reactant side of that equation. So because I reverse the uh, equation, my enthalpy change will become positive 359 0.4 kilojoules. Now, all we have to do, Hess's law here indicates we can sum together the reactions and therefore sum together our enthalpy changes. Now, keep in mind uh, sort of how Hess's law works. Anything that appears on the reactant side that's also on the product side of a separate equation will sort of cancel out of your overall reaction. So the solid lead will cancel out and the chlorine on the product side will also cancel out and I'll be left with one mole of chlorine gas on the reactant side. And so ultimately, I'm left with overall on the reactant side, PbCl2 in the solid state, plus one mole of chlorine gas, form one mole of lead for chloride in the liquid state, which is the reaction that I'm looking for. Again, note that anything on the reactant side will cancel out anything on the product side in a second equation. Our enthalpy changes can then be sum together to determine the overall enthalpy change of the combined reaction. And for this reaction, we would determine that enthalpy change to be positive 30.2 kilojoules. Boom.